for your forewarned weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. And here at home, we are dealing with a load of wet weather. Yeah, soggy day today, Alana. It was, and you know what? It was on the cooler side. Mm -hmm. 70s, we topped out in the 70s, so we had wet weather, we saw clouds. And this is what the rain looked like in northern Utah. This was on I-15 and I-215. We saw soggy conditions as we made it through the morning and afternoon hours and a few thunderstorms popping up. The reason we were seeing all this moisture, it's our southerly flow, that setup really allowed for moisture to be funneled into the state, and we paired that with what was left over, those tropical remnants from Hillary. As we look at some of those rain totals from northern Utah, Utah County, this is over the last couple of days. Just to be clear, this is from Sunday. Six tenths in Alpine Rose Park getting that same amount. Draper getting close to half an inch, four tenths there. Ogden getting three tenths and Salt Lake International getting more than a quarter of an inch in just the last few days. So that moisture, while it's hit or miss when it comes to showers and storms, it's adding up. We saw it in southern Utah and we saw it in the north today. Chris Williams got this amazing drone footage. Is this not incredible? Thank you, Chris. He was up at Guardsman's Pass looking down at Park City. This was in between rainstorms. That cloud cover just feels like you're walking on a cloud, and I'll take that on a soggy day. We still have active conditions out there tonight. Storm tracker radar is sweeping the region. Blanding, Four Corners area, plenty of lightning. That was coming off of a storm from Mexican Hat, and we're watching as these storms track further north. Nephi over I-15, still a little soggy. Duchesne County and Castle Country also dealing with some lightning. We did see a portion of US-6 that was under a flash flood warning because of that bare burn scar. That did cause a debris flow, but it did not cross US-6. Northern Utah is quiet out there tonight, so the Wasatch Front staying a little drier, but we do bring back storm potential into tomorrow. That flood watch that's been in effect for the last few days expires at midnight, but we know that storms, even as they come through, will still pack a punch with brief heavy rain, gusty winds, and lightning. Okay, let's talk high temperatures today. 73 in Salt Lake. If that holds until midnight, we will break the record today for the coolest high temperature. 74 back in 2006 is the old record, so we'll see how that shakes out. 70s for temperatures along the Wasatch Front. Yeah, that was really nice. A big change from what we saw in July, and it does not feel like August. 80s and 90s on the eastern side of the state, 81 in St. George. We also saw strong winds with lines of storms coming through, gusting at 33 miles per hour in Salt Lake. Evanston did see a severe thunderstorm warning throughout the day. St. George had a 21 mile per hour gust. Hanksville, 40 miles per hour. Wayne County still has that flood advisory for Hanksville. As we get to 1015, we'll see that expire. The excessive rainfall threat into tomorrow is for a focused area, and that's where we're going to see those storms develop, really favoring the higher terrain for our Wednesday. Making it to the middle of the week, and future cast shows you what to expect. Isolated on the eastern side of the state, we could see nocturnal storms in the Uinta Basin and pushing north from Moab as we head into tonight. Cloud cover holding on, Flaming Gorge, the basin, over the wind is still pretty active. Then as we head into tomorrow, we are going to see the potential for storms. Here we are by 9 a.m. south of I-70, but quiet along the Wasatch Front. You can see how the storms track a little further east. We do have the chance of getting some isolated activity in Salt Lake County later on into the evening, but throughout the day, we're going to see a nice day with decent temperatures. We will see those storms from the Wasatch Plateau towards Richfield into southern Utah. St. George, Kanab, you're looking at storms yet again. We watch as those storms kind of track northeast Beaver County, I-15, Iron County, Richfield, those areas will see storms by the evening hours. And again, development in the West Desert towards Tooele County could push into Salt Lake County by tomorrow evening. So between 5 and 7, some stronger storms in the West Desert will keep us on our toes. We'll see what happens in Utah County. Scattered thunderstorm potential for your Wednesday, but drier overall from what we saw today. Here's the big picture. It shows that we're sandwiched in between two systems. That dome of high pressure that's impacting the Midwest and bringing heat, low pressure to our West, and you see the moisture that was coming in that's tropical moisture from Harold. And that's going to impact us because the positioning of the high is going to funnel in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. That's monsoon moisture, folks, and that's why we keep thunderstorms through the close of the work week. How about some temperatures for tomorrow? Today was 73. That's going to be hard to beat. 87, a little warmer, a little closer to average. 80s along the Wasatch Front for tomorrow. On the eastern side of the state, we'll see the 90s in Moab, 90 in St. George. So the warmth starting to come back as storms amp up in the afternoon and evening. Here's a check on the next seven. Washington County, you have just been keeping things interesting with all that wet weather. Well, thunderstorms for your Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, drying out into Saturday, which will allow for temperatures to warm back up. Maybe some residual moisture over the high country, but overall a drier pattern by the weekend. That also includes the Wasatch Front, where highs will be in the 80s, making it back into the 90s. You see that moisture go away, and gosh, we see the temperatures really climb. Thunderstorms in the forecast for the next few days, 73. 
How about it? Glenn, Emily, over to you. How about it?